its watershed all down in here in a nice slow organized fashion and end up uh, improving the whole situation. All of this downhill material should be removed and placed either on the uphill side, sloping down with a nice natural little fillet slope there into this, or some of it can be used to do a series of swales across that area that we'd be irrigating, or not, since there seems to be enough material there. So, side on the side that will allow the water to run in the direction that it was intended to run in the first place. You remove the berm or windrow, if this had been done with a grater, and put it on the uphill side, slowing the water down before it gets to the trail and spreading it out and allowing it to gradually go in the direction it was intended to without channeling or creating greater erosion. Time as the water slows and deposition occurs behind this wall that's on the uphill side. Not much of a wall either, maybe a half a foot. A foot would be great. Um, of boulders and the rock filters is what I call them. After it's slowed down through there, the only thing that makes it through is the finer stuff and that slowly starts building up your degraded trail and eventually you end up with a trail that's just slightly higher than the landscape and the grade on each, each side and that allows just a little bit of a hump, a terrace and uh, pretty easy, relatively speaking, easy traveling and maintenance even allows for wheeled vehicles pretty easily. So a labor ten intensive proposition granted but uh, in the long run I think somewhat worthwhile and uh, with a good enough crew it could happen pretty fast. All the materials are on site and no, equi no equipment's necessary. It's an incredible day really really green beginning of September it's incredible there's proximity for you little pink houses on the downhill side which just aggravates the whole erosion problem. Easy to fix. Very nice set of steps. Real nice work. Terraced. The proportions. So sweeping around here towards Mount Lemon. Back there. I was there just the other day. Listening to some music. Proper. Now on to the southeast a little bit even. About a 45 minute, maybe an hour walk, easy walk, away from the house. The dancing rocks there. Swallow National Park. I'm on a back trail. It's right off of Scenic Drive or Scenic Avenue or whatever it is that we live on. see downtown Tucson right there between the arm of that saguaro and that little rise on the right.
way off in the distance. About 20 miles. 